back to one of the tanks over in the French uh, Tier 5 uh, premium uh, artillery, which is the, uh, the, M10, uh, the M105, it's not the M105, it's the 105 LEFH uh, 18B2, uh, which is no longer available in, in, the, in the gift shop, but it does come available every now and again. Um, if you're interested in, in this vehicle, I was uh, for a while I was trying to get this. I never got it when it was a tier four, which was when it was in the shop originally, and then they removed it um, and then brought it back for I think one of the anniversaries. But it was a tier five. They bumped it up to a tier five because of the, the RT rebalancing. Um, so it, it sees everything it used to see before, uh, and I don't think there was any real massive changes um, to it, as far as I'm aware. But that, that doesn't matter, this is what it is now. So you've got 260 hit points, 60 at the sides and rear, 50 at the back. It returns at around about just under 23 degrees a second. Uh, aim time is, is uh, it's, it's quite a, it's got a good, decent aim time, it's about 4.4 four and a half seconds for an artillery, that's pretty good. I was kind of hoping for a double on those two problems, and that would have been rather nice. So, switch to the new view. If you hit the G key, you get this view, which used to be a mod, a rather controversial mod, as I remember, so they pretty much give it to everyone that got, kind of got rid of the argument that now it's available to everybody. It does restrict your view, though. It's good, um, I suppose, if you want to try and get a shot of it. I don't know. It, it, I'm a bit mixed about that view. I, I use it some of the time, but I still prefer uh, the overhead view. You get more of a, a view of what's going on. You can look out for trees being knocked down and, and, and such. Uh, we're going to have to pull back a little bit because their view range is quite good on a Cromwell, I've just remembered. So uh, I've decided to pull back into a, get in a bit of foliage, get a little bit of uh, scenery between me and them if I can possibly help it. And switch it back to the other view and if we keep uh, an eye out just above the the mini map and you should see a tree go over there we go and some fencing and then he knocks another bit of fencing down so i'm guessing he's making his way to the corner of the building so we'll put one in and we hit something there was no splash we've got an eight second reload it Put it straight back in and we got him. There was another Cromwell. No, the other Cromwell was shown up over by the uh, the OI. Oh, we just lost. Just lost our T37, which is just in front of us. That was, that was, well, it, was um, well, it wasn't the Cromwell, was it? Uh, it was a Chaffee that got that. So we still don't know where he is. He was last reported down. In fact, Type 58 has just shown up. He's made his way across and got quite away before he was spotted. So uh, definitely far closer than I'd like him to be. And he got a crit on his tracks and a little bit of damage as well. Oh, we've got another one in the cap. Oh, they seem to be killing everything. Pretty rapid over there. No, oh crikey, he's even closer. We've only got, there's only me and a Stug over here now. That should be a hit, but it's not. The Stug's rapid fire seems to be taking care of him, though. Yep. And then we move over to the other side of the map. We can, uh, with our eight second reload, and we've got four and a half second aim time. We've got a decent circle on that, so that should arc over the top. Provided it doesn't drop low and hit the rock. It's moved over and it's hit something. Again, no splash. Fire again. Oh, unlucky. Left him with a little bit, but no matter. We can fire a shot. It doesn't have to hit him, it just gets close to him. Uh, he's already gone. We're going to get over this one. Again, a decent circle, so we've got a good chance of getting that over the top as well. The trouble with if you get one of these tanks zooming in on you, because of its eight second reload, and if you have brothers in arms, it drops it down to just over seven and a half seconds. Um, if they track you, they can pretty much keep you there, uh, unless uh, someone interferes. So if you don't have a repair, and you get pinned down, uh, it's a problem. Uh, unfortunately, I remember that I have to answer the door at this point, so <laughs> nothing really moves forward. If you look on the mini map, the Chaffee's making a run for the Stug, uh, but the T-34's having none of it. So we've got a class one, bruiser and high caliber, uh, 1600 damage and obviously the right end of the scoreboard. 
Uh, so we fired 12, we hit 9, and 9 of those penned, and we did about 1600 damage. Uh, in terms of money, premium tank, that's the important part. Uh, with a non-premium, we got 27,000. Had we had premium, we would have got 40, uh, well, just shy of 42,000.